now that I've shit on Charlotte, I can go to Roka. Hey! Good ass episode as always. I like the part where they were talking about repentance and shit. Kind of helped to show you how fucking crazy Nashatania is. I like how she also just went back to her character acting like nothing fucking happened. <laughs> Presentation this fucking episode was phenomenal. The animation was fluid as shit. I think it's the best that it's ever been in this fucking series. Art was always fucking on point. I think there was one scene where they were all sitting down and it looked pretty terrible, but I could excuse it because the rest of the episode and, and usually the rest of the series, the Faroka at least, has been very well drawn. Everything was well shot, uh, OST worked really well, loved the sound effects, uh, everything just worked out well. Good presentation. Here's the thing though, that's like half of the fucking episode. Half of the episode was legit just fighting, and I thought that that was really cool because a lot of people tend to say, nothing really happens in Roka, but what I have to say to counteract that is that there's quite a bit of fucking fighting in Roka. Yes, because, you know, they're supposed to be going to slay the quote-unquote demon lord, which would have been a generic-ass plot. Uh, <laughs> you know, there's not, there should be more fighting, is what people say, but I don't believe that, because the whole, you know, purpose is figuring out who the fuck the seventh is. Speaking of which, Adlet, why the fuck would you end on that cliffhanger? That was the biggest dick move I think I've ever seen. And I knew they were gonna do it, I knew they were gonna do it, I saw it coming, I was just like, Really, nigga? You couldn't even give me an after credit scene, nigga? Come on, now. I like how they kind of demonstrated this balance of power, where it's kind of like Adlet really is just a normal man. He has nothing to him other than his weapons and stuff, and I think that that kind of was cool because it showed that, like, out of everybody, Adlet, he calls himself the strongest man in the world, but he's really not. He's really probably the weakest out of them all. Yeah, bitch. See? Hands isn't hurt, you fucking nigger. See? Cotton pickers these days. Fucking Adlet was on his deathbed, and he's over here still talking about, yeah, I'm the strongest man in the world. I gets the most bitches. I thought Adlet's plan was honestly pretty fucking smart. It was kind of funny because, like, it really was simple, but he himself even said that. He was just kind of like, how the hell didn't I think about this? And I like how, in this type of magical fantasy type setting, all he did was apply science to it. It's kind of like how in Full Metal Alchemist, how, like, you have all these people talking about religion, and then you got Edward Elric that's just kind of like, no, everything can be fucking explained by science. I like how they took that approach to figuring out who the seventh was rather than some super fucking elaborate plan that, like, nobody would fucking understand, and that seemed like an ass pull. It was something that was very obvious that was always around them, and I, that was the thing that I really liked about this episode of Roka, but not just this episode, most of the other episodes. It wasn't like they were coming up with really elaborate plans, you know? It wasn't like something all out the fucking box. It was just something fairly simple that most people wouldn't have recognized just because of how the world is described. They set up the world really well, I think, within the first episode or two, because what it really did was kind of bring this fantasy-type focus to everything, instead of keeping this scientific. And I think that that really paid off. Those first couple of episodes that turned out really slow were really just kind of to trick the fucking audience. And I think that that worked well because they tricked the audience, they tricked most of us at least, into thinking that this was going to be a fantasy type setting, but the solution was through science. I can't believe that they were over here talking about, uh, what is it, that they were foreshadowing since like episode 3 when they got into the forest and then Adlet was like, man, it sure as hell is hot in here. Who the fuck would have known? <laughs> good pacing this episode, uh, everything looked good in the episode. Overall, good episode, you know? As always, uh, Roka, I'm not gonna say it because every time I say something is anime of the season, it instantly does not become anime of the season to <laughs> Charlotte. But yeah, uh, what do you guys think about this episode of Roka? I thought it was a great episode. It'll probably, I'll probably end up giving Roka either a 7 or 7.5 by the time it's done. Hopefully if it ends, uh, you know, properly or just ends with a decent, you know, acceptable ending or uh, I, I can give it a 7, you know. If it doesn't end and we don't get any confirmation of a season 2 anytime soon, I'm giving it, I have to drop the score by a whole fucking point. It'll be sad because it's a good show, but Anyways, tell me you guys what, uh, tell, wait, what? <laughs> you guys tell me what you think about the episode in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Deuces!